Good morning, it's May 28th, 2020. Most businesses and gyms are closed due to COVID at this point. If you find yourself trying to work out at home, you might notice that some of the workouts tell you to uh, maybe run like a quarter mile or run 200 meters or 400 meters. And that might be a problem uh, for some of us to uh, figure out how long that is or to measure it because most of us probably have like a, I don't know about you, but I have like a 25 foot tape measure at home. So that, that really doesn't do too good if I need to measure uh, 200 meters. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, quickly do that inside of Google Maps. Um, so you go to maps.google.com. Uh, that brings up uh, Google Maps. Most of you are probably familiar with that. In the top left, you can type in uh, your address or wherever you're going to be uh, running. Um, so I'm just going to type in like the Nazareth Post Office, for instance. Okay, there's Center Square of Nazareth. There's the Post Office. I know there's like a field over here, uh, Veterans Memorial Square. So let's uh, let's choose this. Um, so the first thing we want to do is switch to satellite view just to give us some points of reference. There we go. That's better. Um, we can uh, close out the search here. We can click that X, okay? You can get that right in the middle there. And then let's zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna move my picture so I can get to those uh, zoom buttons. All right, bottom right here, let's zoom in, click that plus sign a couple of times, okay? All right, so let's say you are uh, on the field and you wanna measure some distances. Uh, let's say um, somewhere near uh, this uh, house or building to this one. All we have to do is we can right click, we can click measure distance and then click someplace else. So let's click over here. So we can see that that says 171 feet. Um, down here, if uh, your workout is calling for meters, uh, we can see that that is uh, 52 meters. We can move any of these points around as well. So for instance, if we want to, let's say we want to run from home plate uh, all the way to this house over here, uh, we can see that that's about 100 meters. So if your workout is telling you to do a uh, 100 meters, you're, you're able to do that as well. The great thing about this is you can uh, move these points and you can add points. So if we zoom out a little bit more, and let's say that uh, your workout calls for a much longer run, we can drag this point and we could go over here. We can drag this and put it here, and we could even add more points. So we could just continue. We could click, uh, click here. And then here, okay, and then here, and we can see that down here that's about 2100 feet or 640 meters. If you need to go longer, not a problem. You could just click and uh, redrag these. And we're at 922. And you can make the route much more complex if you wanted to, like if you were uh, running through like alleys or, or something like that, there's nothing to prevent you from drawing. Um, any shape you want. So I uh, hope you found that uh, tip valuable. I think this is a much easier way to uh, get those measurements of those uh, short runs, especially like 100 meters or something like that, rather than breaking out that uh, small tape measure and then trying to convert feet to meters. All right, hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.